We're in the Roadshow Kitchen on this Monday morning. Chef Jennifer Luxmore is here from Sin. And we have cereal bars on the menu today. We're going to bake some of those up. And a great idea. Thanks for coming in tonight. Oh, you're welcome. No okay. problem. So before we even get to the, the ingredients that we need, tell us about the cereal bars. Because if you know someone, college kids who are traveling, maybe you own a business and you're going to have a party, um, you have this new, new thing that you can send yeah. these right out to people. During the pandemic, we uh, had a lot of people asking us, can I send something? We love your company. We want to send something to our people. Right. Um, so we came up with this whole line of cereal bars and brownies a bunch of different flavors mm. beautiful box you can send it to college kids send it as corporate gifts around the holiday time um, they ship out really really well and there's an online platform so it's really easy to order okay uh, we have three different sizes little minis the regular size and then some like mega sinner size um, <laughs> I like that sinner size <laughs> and uh, they come in a bunch of different flavors and it's uh, we're just kind of launching it now well it's really really nice and and, uh, and a great great idea to send out to uh, to people who you love or people who you work with as well tell us what we need to put these together I mean cereal bars are super simple so yeah. if you want to do these yourselves uh, with your kids or whatever marshmallows some butter and the cereal of your choice. That's it. We add a little extra cocoa and a little salt to the chocolate ones that I'm gonna be doing today. But you can use a variety of different cereals, whatever you like. We have Fruit Loops, we have uh, Captain Crunch, we have uh, Honey Mix. Yeah. Um, we add a little honey and a little cinnamon to that mixture. But and then these get baked afterwards, right? No, no these they are don't bake. Um, microwave. I don't even need to use the oven or the oh, stove top. Oh, that's even better. Throw it in the microwave. Okay. All so right. So I'll go over that later, show you all the little steps. And it's great for the kids. It's great for after school snacks, lunch yeah. boxes. Yeah, they're really nice. All, all wrapped up boxes. and ready to go. So we will do that. And, uh, and Jen will tell you more about Sin, too, because their pastries are just crazy delicious. And when you see them, they're even better. Uh, we will uh, do that in just a little bit. Back to you. Welcome back to the Road Show on this fine Monday morning. We are so lucky to have with us one of our favorites, Chef Jennifer Luxmore from Sin is here. Good morning once again. Morning. So nice to see you as always. And you have been preparing hard at work, as we like to say, making these cereal bars. We saw you earlier with Will. Talk to the audience if they missed it about really what is you doing here. So over the pandemic, we had a bunch of people call us and like, hey, we really love your stuff. We want to give it to some of our family and friends. What can we do? don't really have you know a way to ship a cake right so we came up with some new products we came up with a line of cereal bars and a line of specialty brownies people love our brownies um, cereal, cereal bars ship really easily um, we got custom box we set up the online portal um, so now you can go online you can order really easily set up shipping um, and we have them they're perfect for college students for corporate gifts right um, yeah. The packaging is great, and what a fun way to support local while still enjoying something you love. Yeah, yeah. So talk to us about what you're doing right here this morning, and it looks, I mean, I've been, I told you earlier, I was watching the first segment with Will, I was staring at the cereal, I couldn't wait to see you dazzle us, so talk to us about what you're doing. So these are basic Rice Krispie treats. Um, you don't want to have us do them, you can do them yourself, you okay. can give your kids to them, they're super simple, the recipe's right on the box. Um, you could take that basic recipe and apply it to most any dessert, any cereal. You want, so you can customize it and be creative. Yep. Yeah. Um, some of the cereals, like the Fruit Loops, have the little holes in them. So we found that um, if you have the little holes, you might have to add regular Rice Krispies. Otherwise, you get a little layer of marshmallow on the bottom, which is not necessarily bad either. I was going to say, if you like that, that sounds pretty good to me, but a good tip right there. So. Um, these are a little flatter than regular Rice Krispies, so again, we need to use a little more. If you just want to shove those right in this bowl. The, am I dumping this whole bowl? Yeah, most of this it. This is about the size of a cereal bowl that I normally consume <laughs> every morning, so here we go. You tell me when. Go for it. All right. Look out. I love that sound. All right, let's stop there. All right, and the rest is for me to consume after the show. So this is the bag of marshmallow and a couple of tablespoons of butter. I melted it in the microwave. Um, for about 30 seconds and then stirred, 30 seconds and have stirred, and it took about, I don't know, two minutes or so. You know what is happening here, and I love this, Jen? It's becoming gooey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like pour in your cereal and uh, just coat it. How about you? Oh, no. Uh, you know how I ruin everything. So. Come on. Just <laughs> goo it in. All right. Help out right here. And it goes right there. And then spread it all around? Yep. Oh, I'm doing all of this without my apron on. <laughs> 
All right, you can take over from <laughs> So this pan might be a little big for the uh, recipe that we have, sure. but um, usually any kind of like sheet pan or quarter sheet pan that you have at home Will work works well. really well. And you're just putting it in here. You're kind of just pressing it all together. I do love how you involved me in the process. Hey, gotta get you to do something. <laughs> I know this morning, it's a, right? just standing here on a Monday, right? <laughs> this looks and it smells great too. Yeah. And so we added a little cocoa just to jazz it up, a little salt, um, you know, the honey smacks. We add a little cinnamon, uh, you know, just kind of like, you know, jazz it up a little bit. And have fun with it. And let's remind everyone of where Sin is located and what they need to know. Sin is located at 1413 Westminster Street in Providence, Rhode Island. We are online at info at eatwicked.com. Uh, phone number... 401-369-8427. I'm going to call it right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody there. <laughs> and of course, this is just one of the many things that people can select from. You have so many different options, don't you? Yeah, we're doing a ton of weddings right now, um, a ton of birthday parties, custom cakes, semi-custom cakes. We have cakes in our shop every single day. Um, so, you know, give us a call, stop in. Sounds like a plan. I know we can find you all over uh, online, social media, all that great stuff as well. Well, Jen, it's always a pleasure. Well, thank you. Thank you for being with us. And you guys can see right there these cereal bars. They're really great. They have so many different options. And really, that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what Sin offers. So you'll want to check them out. And to get the recipe for these and to learn more, you know what to do, roadshow.com.